Hi, it's Chris V with Motion Pro. Today we're going to talk about our chain breakers. Motion Pro makes several different kinds of chain breakers. They all work on basically the same type of principle. So today we're going to talk about the jumbo chain breaker and how to break a chain, press on a master link, and rivet that master link. These are the components of the Motion Pro jumbo chain tool. The chain breaker itself in its configuration to break chains the press plate which is used to press on the side plate of the new master link and the rivet set and the rivet anvil that is used to flare the rivets on a rivet type master link. Today for demonstration purposes we're just going to work on a small piece of chain to make it simple and straightforward. Normally you'd be doing this on your motorcycle. So we have a piece of 530 DID chain and we also have a master link, the new side plate, and the O-rings that fit in between the plates and the rollers. The first step in setting up the chain breaker is to retract the extractor pin into the body of the tool so that you can clamp the tool into the chain breaker. You can see that the pin is retracted where there's about two millimeters of clearance inside of the tool. That's where the chain pin is going to fit. Clamp the chain to be broken into the tool and just snug the body bolt lightly. Doesn't need to be really torqued down. The next step is to advance the extractor bolt to push the extractor pin into contact with the chain pin. When you first start to push the extractor pin through the chain, the resistance will be quite high as the peening is broken on the chain pin. You can see that it gets hard and now it's much easier after the pin starts to move through the chain. The resistance will go up again one more time as it pushes through the back of the chain. And it's going to pop out. Ta-da! With this model of chain breaker, it's not necessary to grind off the head of the chain pin to reduce the load on the tool. Some chain breakers will require you to grind off the head of the chain pin before breaking the chain to reduce the load on the tool. Look at the individual instructions that come with your chain tool to decide whether that step is necessary. Now that the pin has been driven all the way through the chain, you can remove the chain from the chain breaker. Ta-da! Easy as pie. Broken chain. Next step, we're going to install the chain master link. Normally when you're installing a master link, you would use the grease that comes with the master link to liberally lubricate the master link and the O-rings of the master link. For this demonstration, we're not going to do that just to simplify things. Make sure to always use grease on any master link you're installing on a bike. First step with a master link, of course, is to install O-rings onto the back side of the master link. and install the master onto the chain. Next step, two more O-rings and we're ready for the side plate. Side plate is a press fit onto the chain so you can place it into position but we'll need to use the press plate to actually press the side plate all the way into position on the chain. When installing the press plate, you need to retract the chain pin all the way into the tool and install the press plate in its place. Make sure that the press plate is fully in contact with the face of the body bolt. Now in placing the chain into the chain breaker and to make enough room for the chain, obviously, 
you'll see that the press plate fits nicely over the side plate of the master link. Now we're ready to install the plate. Use wrench on the body bolt only and a few turns to get the plate started. Double check to make sure that the plate is pressing on correctly. You can see now that the pins are starting to protrude from the master link. They will fit into the holes that are drilled on the press plate so that they can be continued to be pushed out. Now this is a very important step. Once you get close to having the plate pressed on to the proper width, you need to make sure that it matches the width of the other chain plates. So you measure an existing chain plate and then measure the width of the master link. Of course, I'm a pro. I got it right the first time. <laughs> Press plate is on. You can see that the rivet link is protruding through the chain side plate now. And now it's time to flare those rivets. Now that we're ready to rivet the chain, we have to set up the tool slightly differently. And so you're going to take the pin guide out of the tool. Some of the other chain breakers work in a slightly different fashion. Again, take a look at the instruction manual to see how it works for your particular chain breaker. This rivet set threads in place and make sure that it is seated all the way against the body bolt. Then it comes time to put the rivet anvil into place in the back side of the tool. A quick note about flaring rivet type master links. There is a specific measurement for flare on a rivet type master link. Generally, it's only about 20 to 30 thousandths of an inch, which is a very small amount. Common misconception, people think they need to flare it flat all the way against the rivet link. It's actually a bad thing because you can weaken the master link. Each manufacturer has a different specification. Make sure to check with the manufacturer for the proper amount of flare. It's very important to measure the diameter of the rivet before you flare it to use as a starting point. This rivet is 200 thousandths in diameter. We need to flare it 20 thousandths, so our eventual measurement will be 220 thousandths. Now we're going to flare the rivet. The chain gets inserted into the tool with the pin we're going to flare the backside against the anvil and the hollow nose of the rivet against the rivet set. Again, using only the body bolt, we're going to flare the rivet. This generally takes less than a full turn to properly flare the rivet. Go about a half a turn, loosen it up. You can see it's starting to get a nice little flare on it. Measure it again. And we've got just a bit more to go. Back into the chain tool. Just a bit more. Perfect, beautiful thing. Nicely flared rivet. Repeat that on the other side and you're all done. There you go, that's how you break, press, and rivet a chain. Thanks. <laughs>